Good morning. I'm Mohamed Sadri. Mm -hmm. This is dynamic function exchange with Zinc Coulter Scale Plus Part 4, then partial reconfiguration flow. Part 2 of partial reconfiguration flow. Uh, this is a hobby video and it's in part supported by Blickfeld. This is a company here in Munich. They create LiDARs, automotive grade, low cost LiDARs. You can buy the LiDAR or you can join them. So in this video, I'm going to continue with the um, partial configuration flow. This is our Vivado project. As of the uh, videos we had up to now, I'm I'm hundred percent sure that you feel comfortable with this Vivado project. You know all of the aspects of the Vivado project. You know all of the files. You know why um, why we have this uh, structure. You know the block diagram and you know our partial configuration idea. So I continue with the flow. So I come to the tools and then I say enable dynamic function exchange. Okay, so my project is now converted into a project which is suitable for dynamic function exchange. Now I define basically my reconfigurable partitions. So as you remember, we want to have three reconfigurable partitions, one for floating point, one for our normal XI stream IP and another one for the XI light IP. So I create these three reconfigurable partitions. I right click here, I come create partition definition. This is the stream IP. I create partition definition and I give it a name. This is basically the reconfigurable partition which will host the IP which performs multiplication on the stream of data coming or it will perform to the power of four. Okay, so I give it a name, whatever name you like, you can give it. Just it should be like a meaningful name. A stream reconfigurable partition. And I press OK. And then I continue with the next one. As this updating gets done, again, create partition definition. And this is the partition which contains our XR light IP. I would say XR light reconfigurable partition. So it contains our XR light uh, IP. So the one which counts by one or counts by five. XR light reconfigurable partition. This is the second one. And then create partition definition. This is the one which contains the IPs which perform floating point calculation. So floating point reconfigurable. So this is the name I selected for these partitions. Okay, now that I have defined the uh, reconfigurable partitions, I should tell the tool which modules will be located in each of these partitions. So right now the default mode, I have these uh, basically a stream reconfigurable partition. And on the stream reconfigurable partition, I have my simple stream IP moved. Okay, but I know that uh, during system operation, I want to be able to reconfigure this partition and to put another module here, which performs to the power of four instead of multiplication. So this is done here in the tools menu, dynamic function, exchange wizard. I go ahead with this wizard and during this wizard, I indicate which other modules will be associated with each of these partitions. And also I give the tool, the source code for those modules. So reconfigure module association with partitions. Right now, what I have is, this is my XR Lite reconfigurable partition, and this is XR Lite count by one module. This module is associated to this partition. What I want, I have also another module that I want to be associated with this partition. So right now what I have here, if I right click here and press edit, what I have are these definitions. This is a reconfigure module. It, ha it has this top level name and it has this module name, which basically these two are equal right now for this project. And then it has 
a verilog file, a source code, and an XCI file. Okay, and the XCI file is basically taken from the generated IP. I need to create similar definitions for the rest of reconfigurable modules that I want to add to the project. So I come here, I press plus, and then I select the reconfigurable portion that I want, and then I start defining the fields. So another module, as I told you, that we want to have for this partition is the one that counts by five. Okay, now, if I look at my uh, project sources, I have described to you that inside the RTL folder, you have wrappers for all of the reconfigurable modules that you may use in your project. Okay, so right now, this is the wrapper for, um, for the count by one, which is already active and it's in the system. It's, in the, it's added to the project already by default. Now what I want, is I want also to have this guy for the same uh, reconfigurable partition, simple axolite count by five. So this top level module name will be simple axolite count by five also here. And then for this reconfigurable module, which is a basically simple module with axolite interface and counts by five, whenever we read it, we have two files. First of all, the file that is the wrapper so i add that file it's inside the rtl folder it's this guy it's the wrapper and then the main definition of the ip which is the hci file and i add also the hci file the hci file is inside the ip generated folder so simple axolite count by five this is the um, hci file and i also add this guy now how is the ECI file produced? If you look at the files for the project, we have this IP folder. This count by five IP is a custom IP. We have created this ourselves. And it's here. The definition of the IP is here. Simple Excel light counter. This is a custom IP we have created ourselves. And then it has a RTL code. We have packaged the IP. And then after we have packaged the IP, we have created a Vivado project. We have added to the repository pass of that Vivado project, this pass here. And then we have generated the IP there in that Vivado project. The output of generated IP is the XCI file. And the XCI file is the one that we are giving to the tool here. So I'm not giving to the tool here the pass to this folder. It, it won't work. I'm, I have created um, basically a Vivado project and using the Vivado project, I have generated the XCI file and I'm giving the XCI file here. Now, this Vivado project here, obviously in its repository pass, it contains the pass to this location. So it knows the details of this IP. It knows the RTL source code, everything. All it needs here is the XCI file, which indicates the properties of the IP, the parameters of the IP. So this is done. This is ready. Um, our reconfigurable partition is correct. Mm, top level module name is correct. So we have added here this guy right now, and we continue for the other two partitions that we have for floating point reconfigurable partition and stream reconfigurable partition for each of these guys also we have modules and i want to add those modules as well so again i come back to my rtl folder inside rtl folder i have also wrappers for those guys for the floating point reconfigurable partition we want to be able to calculate natural logarithm and sometimes we want to be able to calculate the reciprocal. So in this partition, we want to have these two modules, basically a partial reconfiguration. We want to be able to switch between them. So for this floating point reconfigurable partition, I have also this floating point recip wrapper. And I add it here. And then I add the files. 
which is for the RTL is this guy, the receive, and then also for the main definition of the IP is this guy here. So I add these two files and this one is ready as well. So last one, last one is for our stream IP. This is a, a stream reconfigurable partition. This is a reconfigurable partition which hosts the malt or the or pole. So here I have this guy. This is the name of the top level module. And this is the name of the uh, module as well. And I'm gonna add the um, RTL for PO here and the ECI file for PO as well. So this guy, this guy here. And, 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 and we are ready. So we have our partitions and we have all of the modules that we, we wanted to associate with each of these partitions. I press next. Here, I should define the configurations. These are the um, possible operation scenarios that I can have on my system during the course of operation of the system. For example, um, the default scenario is, and I call it config one, I give it a name. The default scenario, the default bit stream, that we have for this project is the beta stream which contains the mult for simple stream IP, the count by one for Axialite, and the natural logarithm for basically a floating point partition. So I have mult, I have count by one, and I have natural logarithm. So this is my first config, conf config uh, in which we have again, we have for accelerate reconfigurable partition, we have count by one. For floating point reconfigurable partition, we have LN. And for stream reconfigurable partition, we have MULT. This is, this is our default configuration. So when basically you put the main beta stream on the FPGA, this is the configuration that you have. But you may have also other, other configurations. For example, you may reconfigure the um, a stream reconfigurable partition with the other bit stream that you have to so that you can calculate to the power of four here. So I have another configuration that I call it config two. In this configuration, what's happening is basically I'm calculating to the power of four, I'm counting by one, and I'm calculating ln for the floating point numbers. So here it stays the same, stays the same. However, this one should change to PO. And I don't have PO here. So, so definitely I have made a mistake here. Yes, here, this is incorrect. This should be, I wanted to associate the PO to basically a stream reconfigurable partition. I have incorrectly associated the PO to actually light reconfigurable partition. This is wrong. So I delete this, I update it for the poll again. So I look at the, at the um, poll wrapper, at the name here, and here add files, and I add the ACI file for poll and also I add the, ACL, the RTL top level wrapper for PO. And here I don't forget to change this one to a stream reconfigurable partition. So, okay, so now it should be fine. Previously it was incorrect. So this guy, actually light, floating point, a stream. Okay, let's continue. We go back to the config and then we continue. So I wanted to fix this one. For config two, I want to be able to calculate PO. Okay, PO, LN, XLite. Now you can add as many configurations as you want. So for example, we add a case in which we are calculating PO, we are counting by five, and we are calculating the protocol of the numbers that we are receiving. So we are counting by five, we are calculating a reciprocal 
and then here we are doing poll okay and you can add the rest of them and the, the tcl script that is included in the package it, it adds all of the eight possible configurations okay so when all of the configurations are added we press next and then we we say automatically create configuration runs and Vivaldo uh, automatically creates the uh, required run synthesis implementation runs for all of the configurations. And then that's it. Uh, this is the end of our partial configuration flow. So you don't need to do anything else. Uh, the project is ready for partial reconfiguration. Basically, all I do right now is to press generate beta stream. And as I press generate beta stream, it goes through the synthesis of all of the reconfigure module, the entire design different configurations, also place and route, and gives out the beta streams that I need for partial reconfiguration. 